Well, I got interested in this field originally because my dad was hard of hearing. He was in the artillery in World War II and had a pretty severe hearing loss, and so I grew up around it. I grew up seeing him complain to my mom, why are you mumbling so much? Why don't you speak more clearly? And he went through all the, the stages that you usually see people go through. The first stage is always denial. People don't want to admit that they have a hearing loss. They're always looking for some excuse. Then they tend to get angry. And later on, a lot of times people withdraw, just stop doing things that they used to do. And eventually, hopefully, they get to the place where they accept it and they're ready to do something and look for help. But I was, I was interested in electronics and that kind of tied into hearing aids. And so I got started originally as a hearing aid dispenser. Then I went to work for a company and was trained as a hearing aid technician. And I've built hearing aids, I've repaired hearing aids had an all-make repair lab that we started in 1989 here in Carrollton, but ultimately I decided I wanted to work direct with people and I wanted a business that would help people. And the, the main mission of Hearing Haven is to make hearing aids affordable to as many people as we possibly can. So we try to reach both ends of the spectrum, the people that don't have any money and the people that have plenty of money. And there are, there are a wide variety of hearing aids available, a lot of good hearing aids, and it's just a matter of finding out really what a person's problems are, what kind of difficulties they're having with their hearing, and then finding a way to help them out that, that's good for them and, and will help them out. We work with, with people that are on Medicaid, and we work with people that are multimillionaires. And everyone, as they age, tends to start losing their hearing, and the, the first thing that usually happens is they feel like they're not hearing as plainly, they're not hearing as clearly or as sharply. And they may feel like they, they hear people talking, but they're just not picking things up like they used to. They're not getting quite the understanding they used to. And so a lot of times our job is to help them to pick up better on what it is they're missing. And it, there is really a lot involved with, with hearing better. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of psychological issues involved. People, people have a tendency to, to withdraw, to get depressed, to not be as active, and it's really a, a matter of quality of life. We like to help people get back the quality of life that they used to have and keep that life going and keep life enjoyable for as long as we possibly can.